looked like he had been before. Oh, trouble! Parker Kligerman in the 92, heavy damage on the front end. Kligerman up in turn three, slid all the way around down almost into turn four. What? This, on, almost. You can see there, left rear tires down, maybe, uh, yeah. Lost Austin Wayne Self, loose on the bottom like we talked about, got into the left rear of Kligerman, and it wasn't long before that tire went away. Probably either damaged that tire or the valve stem, and that tire probably deflated, and uh, nothing Parker could do with that truck when that happens. There it goes right there, that left rear tire goes. You can see the carcass come off, and it swings around. It's pretty hard with the safer barrier driver's side. Both those drivers trying to keep from going a lap down as John Hunter Neiman. Laps now, he's going, oh, trouble, Kaz Gorilla into the outside wall, along with Rico Abreu in the 98. Gorilla on the outside, the 24, Rico in the 98, and they are both under power, which is a good sign. Right here, just uh, on the front stretch, just before the start-finish line, and a lot of debris coming off that 24 truck. The caution clock was down under five minutes. Kaz was running in the 16th spot and Rico in the 18th spot. Doesn't look to be much damage on the left side, a little bit there in the left rear. Yeah, the, the right uh, front could be the... Yeah, and that sway bar could duck, be... Sway bar arms. Dragon, he just gets loose down on that bottom. It had the yeah. truck turning well, which is Ooh. a key to success. Oh, oh Peters! Peters. What a great job, huh? They, they made contact, but Timothy was able to maintain control. Watch oh. it from Peter's viewpoint. This is as good as it gets right yeah. here. It's going to be scary here. Five minutes. Five minutes. He gave him all the room he could possibly give him. And you can see Rico, he just uh, saw the crash ahead, tried to turn to the bottom. That tells you how, how loose these trucks can get. If you've got to make a, a quick move, uh, you got to get away from you in a hurry. There's the rear end damage on that 24 GMS machine. And the left rear down on the 17 truck. Caution on the racetrack with 22 laps to go. Tommy Joe Martins and Derek Scott Jr. Both laps down. A lot of damage to that diamond gusset Jean Chevrolet for Tommy Joe Martins. A lot of fluid down on the racetrack as well. We'll see what we can tell here. There's oh, looks like he just drives into the corner really deep oh, and yeah. just runs in the back of him. Martins didn't didn't expect that for sure. And this is Jordan Anderson's on. Got one spinning at the top, spinning at the very top, bottom, bottom, bottom. You're good. You're good. So it looked like the zero two of Derek Scott just got into the back of Martins. Nothing, and Martin's nothing certainly. Tommy could do nope. at that point. Nope. Martins, you could see the frustration and the damage. Not the way he wanted his night to end. Jordan Anderson will get the free pass. And Caution. Caution is out. Oh, heavy damage for Caleb Holman in the 75 Food Country truck. And guys, we're going to have another restart. Man, I can't get any better than that, can I, Phil? <laughs> Don't wow. think so. I, those kids are all in there. They're all teenagers <laughs> racing on a, at 160 miles an hour, side by side, sideways. What a great race. Caleb Holman pulls it down off the track. You just knew that action had to pick up. Yeah, you have to believe that we had we had contact, just like we saw earlier. Yeah, he's he's going to point at somebody. Twenty-two, it looked like maybe like maybe the twenty-two of 